Hello folks, Farm Level Extreme here. Here we are, back on Ravenport 22. And this time we're doing something a bit different. We got the deep snow winter, so... Last time we dealt with this, this was a fucking pain in the ass. However, now I've got plans, so... I'm going to make the most of this, so... What we're going to do, first of all, is... Sell our propane for the month... Of January, then we're going to move on to the wood chips, because... As you can probably tell by the title and the thumbnail of the episode, I'm going to at least try, at least, that's the aim of the episode, is purchase all the fields on Ravenport, all the plots of land, with just wood chips. So, obviously, not strictly true. Obviously, we've got 400 grand in the bank account, and yeah, we sell the propane. That will get us close to half a mil. However, to get all of the remaining plots of land, so all the fields and that, every single one of these, as part of the challenge, we need another 4.955 mil. So, let's just say 5 mil we need. So, that is going to be a lot of trees cut down, but fortunately, Ravenport is one of those maps where. Wood chips is worth stonks at the Great Elevator West and the ranch, so we're looking at two grand for those. But yeah, first of all, as we do normally every month, and then we'll go from there and start cutting down some trees. And there we go, we just about survived, had a little couple of little jackknife moments, but overall not too bad. But yeah, this ain't just your normal so on FS22, this is by Sabuki, so. It's one of those maps where the snow is actually a proper challenge to deal with, so I'm going to sell you. And then, yeah, so our plan is cut these trees down. So we'll start with these trees over here, and then we'll go on to the more dense ones over here. But yeah, first of all, we'll see where we stand after setting the propane. So. 5,000 years ago, so yeah, actually, we pretty much just shy off half a mil. But yeah, so that means we need to earn another four and a half million dollars. So, actually, just because I've been doing bloody venture survival, let's put back two dollars. So, there we go. So, yeah, first of all, we're gonna do is purchase a couple of plots of land. So, I'm gonna purchase all of these. See, so yeah, that is a lot of money. That is... Oh yeah, I can't even do math at the moment, but like 400 grand. So yeah, we've got a couple of traders, and of course, as part of the series, it's not a rule really, but it's something different I'm doing. I'm not using all the like unrealistic equipment. What's it all of them? Power here is in that sort of unrealistic category, but... Well, I mean, I'm really stick. I mean, when it comes to the traders and all that, so it's not gonna take us too long to fill up. And where we're at North here, we'll go to the Green Ranch West, or was it Green Ranch West, or whatever it's called, or Great Elevator West? So close enough. So that is just in front of us. So uh, all I'm gonna do is clear all of the wood chips. Also, another thing I'm going to be doing as well is replanting trees in spring. So every tree we cut down. Dang it, since I'm on multiplayer, it's going to be hard to track all the trees, but I'll figure something out. But yeah, I think you have to get a pallet of Mac Trucker 921's trees, 316 trees, and just go and plant them everywhere. So this gets filled up. And then see how much we get for just our first load. So right, that is the first load. And um, we do have a couple of trees left on this little plot of land. Fortunately, a lot of them is on the hill sides here. So what I may need to do is get the tractor. Do it individually. Since the actual devourer here does have a 50,000 year capacity. So, shouldn't be too bad, I don't think, but 
Remember, so let's look at the prices at the moment in terms of our field. So, 36 grand that cost us, and we've got about 220 grand worth of wood chips here. So, you see where I'm going to go with this. So, let's see how much we get after all said and done for our first loan. So, I'm just going to go over here. But yeah, even like say once we're done with all the goals with getting every plot of land, we're still gonna farm in that. So that's 84 grand. So yeah, we've already made money back from that field. And yeah, so final trader. And I think can we actually hit Four and a half mil, five mil in this episode. Really depends on down these trees here. Because, yeah, there are other bits of forestry in that are just down here in that where we're on a bit of a slope and sell them. Well, yeah, not too bad overall. Have to go to the ranch, so. And I can't remember how much that was. But our finances show the differences. No, harvest income that is everything in one go, so plus well, I think we did stuff in that episode because there's no way we've earned seven hundred grand so far. But yeah, so you see the gist of it. So what I'm gonna do now is quickly get all the logs on this blood ant. So just to recap all the trees on here, I'm gonna get every one of these cut down as much as I can, and then we'll see what the final sum is. He goes to do more in a few minutes, but yeah, we've got 50,000 a year, so that's gonna be another 100 grand, I think. And I think overall, that is pretty much enough to get us back to where we were with our money at the start of the episode. So we spent 342 grand on fields. And yeah, just get the last bit sold, so yeah. He was on like on 485, 486, so I feel that costed us what 35, 36 grand. We just made like 340 grand from it, so I'll say this like 10x strategy is working really well. So, and of course, that is just small pieces. So, now we're gonna move on to the more expensive field. So or more expensive forestry areas. But yeah, so actually, technically I could sell that if I want to, but I ain't gonna sell it just yet. So yeah, once we're all said and done, I do want these fields up north. I want these grass fields, I want field seven, I want the BGA in that, so Alright, fair enough, I do want a fair bit of stuff, but let's see how much we get from these, so how much does one tree get us? So, 6,250 here, so, yeah, overall not too bad. Also, that could be, what, well, at least 10, about 40 trees. Yeah, make it gonna be for a little while, but let's see how much we get after we just do this section here. So, we've got all these trees here to do, so. Yeah, around the track and that. Ooh, fuck, she's a fair bit of trees here, so... Yeah, it's gonna take me a fair while to get these done, so... I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done with this, so... But yeah, rather than doing time lapses or anything like that, this is gonna be an absolute struggle. That's gonna be seeing things off and just going back and forth, back and forth, so... What I'll do is I'll just jump cut. I'll we'll have some music or some movies and acts. Maybe a Mississippi vi video or two. Well, especially with his being one well, hour episodes and that. So yeah, I'll see about two episodes I'll get through by the time I'm done with this because this is gonna take us a while. And here we go, so just a little update. We've done this section here, so once again, we spent 144 grand, let's just say. And so far, we've done 
1.54 million euros on wood chip, so that has netted us 2.447 million. And with whatever we get from the Sassoli or so, that's going to be another 140 ish. So overall, that is what? 2.58 mil. So, yeah, this 10x strategy is working. So, actually, I think, to be honest, we're looking good. So, I am looking at new harvesters and that. So, yeah, it'd be good to have the 1950s and that. Or even like the C690, that's what we've got at the moment. Oh, yeah. I remember, yeah, we upgraded the combine, but have they second combine on the farm? Now, I thought it was still on the old combines, but no, we're not. We upgraded it, didn't we? So, maybe get a second combine. So, I'm thinking a second combine, a couple of large tractors and that, like proper ones. Bale wrapper and that, baiter and that. Get a bigger one out. Yeah, because I like to do square bells, but... So yeah, another eight ten grand. So yeah, I'm going to look at Bader, so... I want to go with... Ooh, not the quick bells and that. But yeah, so I feel like this may be the, the chrome big packs. And all that. Even perhaps a cloth and that. You know, get a bit of a glossy thing going on here. But then, even for worst, just worst case scenario, I'll say worst case, something like this would do us just fine. So, but obviously, at the end of the day, that is all depending on how much we get. So, I think, you know what? We can start buying all of these fields. So, I'll we'll buy all the fields that we can. There we go, buy you, buy you. And yeah, even these sword fields. Ain't gonna be able to purchase everything. But yeah, the, the significant amount, including the sawmill, because there is still trees about in that. And I do want to get those cut it down. Because I got some plans for them, so. In terms with harvestable land, I think that is pretty much everything. So that's literally 464. And yeah, we purchased every arable field. Now let's do this one more time. So we'll go up to this north section of the railway tracks. So yeah, we spent, what was that, an hour doing this? And yeah. Also, we have leased a Deutsche Farnat. I forgot to say about that. That's just because I want something just a bit more powerful than that. And ideally, something with duties. Just to make doing this a bit more easier. And yeah, I've always been a bit scrimpish with the mine that. Put it on the top end of that. You know, get a four or five hundred horsepower tractor on that with tracks or whatever. But for the Deutsche Farnat 9 series. Because we had the Dogs for Seven series by Red Cat 3D, and this is their 9 series version. So, so, yeah, this section here is actually a lot bigger. So, there are many trees here. So, yeah, got all these trees here, got all of these at the back. So, actually, I personally don't think we're going to have issues with hitting that. 5 million so whew. so yeah the answer is can you yeah purchase every film every land on Ravenport with just wood chips yes and even when you take considerations our existing fields 3 let's say a mil 1.5 1.7 mil we'll still have more than that afterwards, so I think we have 5 mil plus 1.7 mil, 6.7 mil for air fields. I think we'll get that in wood chips now in this episode, so yeah. Let me finish this off. I'll say it's going to take another hour, hour and a half, 
So if I took an hour, that section there. So you can actually just disconnect the trigger. See, this is where I do counter some issues. There we go. And I'll just come back every so often to make sure it's emptied. See, I'll say this will take about an hour and a half or so. So yeah, I'll see you folks around dinner time. And then we'll sort of see where we stand afterwards, how much money we've got in the bank account, and all of that other lovely good stuff. So right, we are now in February, and yeah, just skipped ahead a little bit. Gone and returned pretty much everything. The only thing got on this now is this trader, but look at that type right corner screen. We are at 2.3 million. And that is after we purchase every field on the map. Obviously, I didn't purchase field tw plot 20 because that's where all of our custom sell points are. Also, the shop with our fill points and that, so I'm not too fussed about that. And to be honest, the shop, there's no assets at the shop really, apart from the actual dealership itself, these areas here, I'm not too fussed with. Yeah, honestly, yeah, generally, I'm not fussed, so. But yeah, we got 2.3 million. Also, we had a quarter of a million pounds loan, or dollar loan, and that has been paid off. So, like, literally, going forward into the next episode, we can set up our own farm, like, get a bit of land, and yeah, even if we have to remove some fields and that. You know what, to be honest, I don't care. Like, I want to get all the animals in. Well, maybe not horses and that, because I think. Yeah, I've just never been a fan of doing horses and that, but cows and that. And also, one thing I want to do is merge a lot of these fields together, so... Yeah, that's pretty much together. That's going to be separate, I know. But this grass field here, we'll, once we get that mode in March, we'll get that all mode and build, and then we'll merge these fields together. That will be merged together. This will be merged all together, including... We get one, two, and three, and whatever we can up here. Because then, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll still keep our little farmland down here. But yeah, really, just try to think of a space. Really, to set up a farming at, like a big farming at. And even if it's somewhere down here, like 21, 22 nats, and that should go down there now. Like, this is a huge space down here, like. Get some sheds and that down. Always oh, gonna be mindful of the construction work that is ever ongoing. That's been going on for years now, that has been, but thinking, yeah, get that yeah, I wish we should get the devour out again. Get rid of some of these trees and create a nice smooth way down, like this could be proper smooth, like I shall give it a little test now, like really should save the game that. Actually, best get my character off here, so... So yeah, that's a bit of a steep slope. But to it gets a bit more gentle along here, so... Really, I think if we have our entrance here, Nat... Sacrifice a lot of this area here, and then... Yeah, just gotta be careful with this little dip here, but apart from that... Yeah, the entrance way to the field could be here, so... Go to landscaping. Go to soften. Yeah, obviously you can't really soften too much here, but and yeah, I know I'm moving a lot of snow in that. But yeah, can I create something here? So what about slope? So if I get the help menu open up, because I always forget how to do this, so. slope to point so I want you to slope to here so now we need to set a target height so there we go I want to go to there oh nope nope that's that's gone wrong is that better or worse Yeah, if I do that, 
trophy he could get. Just something like that. Actually, that is better, that is, to be fair. Oh, note. Oh, don't deal with that tree later on. Crying out loud. And, yeah. Oh, this is why you should save your game, people, because I've completely fucked that now, so. Lovely, so. Bear with me a sec. So, right, I was able to actually correct that, so. Oh, I see that. Uh, Didn't know it was that with the terrain there, like, literally, road just falling off entirely, so. Oh, no, let's go here. Because, yeah, now I need to try to fix this bit here, so. Yeah, I've got the road bit back at least, just. Need to race the terrain a little bit, so. Once again, back to landscaping, so we need to select our level terrain. And I'll level to here. Okay, ain't gonna happen, so what about, say, something like that? There we go. Oops. Camera angle, what are you doing? Actually, you know what? That is a lot better. There we go. Just as new, like, haven't fucked up at all or anything, but yeah, that tree's now floating, so we need to deal with that. Lovely. But yeah, there's ways of dealing with that, but to be honest, I think for the farm down here, really should sit to the entrance here now, like, this is completely flat, and actually, do I start doing some of it now, like, pick a point. And start setting things up, so... Train that. There we go, something like that, like... Getting rid of fields and that, I'm not fussed with. And to be honest, I can work with the terrain later on. Like, I just want to set the farm up, and that. Again, it's always going to be on the next episode, Nat. I just want to set the premises for it now, so... There we go. Just keep on doing that. And there you go, so let's see where we're going with this, so... Oh yeah, so those trees are in the way, so... Let's get rid of all that sex, so... Oh yeah, oh, well, that, that's true to deal with, so... Let's get another... 85 grand, 80 grand or so. So, yep, 84 grand, pretty much bang on. So, now we're returning you. The Dolly I'll keep for now, but to be honest, I will buy the Dolly. But yeah, like 2 million. Like, I think really we need is second harvester in that. And yeah, I will look at some other modded ones, but to be honest, the C690 is in that. That and the header. Or, yeah, was it the Draper header I was going with? So, that's 300 grand. Get some new large tractor. So, I'm thinking if we get two, so, to be honest, I'm thinking getting another Deutz for the 9 series that we used. Get that in. Yeah, okay, I was looking for some of the Colossus mods as well, and that. Another medium tractor, so that's 600 grand. Again, plenty of options for us, so... Again, a mower as well. P2 shaft, maybe. Because then what we can do is, once that's hooked up and that... Actually, no, 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 we won't do that. We'll just do the normal mower and that. And then, yeah, the baiters and that, so... The wrapper... That is, what, 54 grand, because I want that one. And yeah, get a big, big round beater and big square beater, so... Yeah, that's... No, we're not using that. I'm using the base game version, I think it is. Uh, where's our beater to? So yeah, using John Deere, I know. Ah, wait, wait, yep, so it... There we go, so yeah, we're using that one. Which, to be fair, ain't that bad. 
even if I say we do use the quick the quick bell, not the quick quick, just an old quick bell, but only stick to the small size. I think that's fair enough. I should know even that like, the Viking fast beater. That actually yeah, good with that. So again, so many options, so let me quick grab those wood chips. So alright, gone and done some wood chipping, so we got 8,000 years here. Also, I bought a new lorry and a trader at that, so now what we can do is sell everything and also need the money because yeah, doing all that left in. It's a little fair bit of money, so let's go and just undo this. Actually, I'm gonna get a fair little penny for it, so but may what I do is in between episodes may grab another four loads of these. Yeah, still empty it. But yeah, I'm thinking let's get another four loads. So yeah, 274 ground plus a little bit there. So yeah, let's have a look at our land. So So yeah, overall not too bad actually. Hop into the tractor and drive around, so the leveling actually all, all said and done wasn't that bad so like, this is all pretty much leveled flat a little bit of a lip here and that still but like, overall not too bad all things considering also there was some here I couldn't remove so what she's done is just build a little burman at whack a couple of trees down and just plaster this entire wall section here of just flowers, give it a bit of decorative aspect to it. But especially, it's hard to see now with the whole rendering of the snow and that proper close up when I'm in the immediate vicinity. But come spring, they will look nice. And yeah, when I create my dream farm here, so yeah, this got all the merits of a dream farm and that. So things like silos and that. Just as an example looking, so that is big enough for a big old silo. You know, thinking, you know, get a silo somewhere like there and that. Then, yeah, have sheds over here and that. And, yeah, I'm going to sacrifice all of these fields, like, like all these fields. As far as I can, I'm aware they can all just go. Worst case scenario is I'll create fields afterwards and they can be just like a grass field or something, but overall, we are looking good, so the question is, can you buy all the lands on Ravenport with wood chips? If you're selling them doing, doing it all in winter, then yes, no issues whatsoever. All we reused was these woodlands here, use a couple trees along here, some trees along here, and I think I've got about 100,000 litres of the trees here, so... You know, like these weird palm trees and that. Yeah, I, I, made, I cut a couple of them down, I did, so... Yeah, that was about, like, this year, 100,000 years, so... But again, with all this land and that... That's just a dairy there. Like... Woodlands over here and that, so... Go to the green elevator. Not the most accessible, I will admit. But yeah, just all these trees here are free game. Free game to have. And yeah, every little helps in that. And then yeah, I got big plans. I was creating a farm. I want to get a custom sawmill put in. Why not keep the carpentry in that? Actually, look at our production in that part of the map itself because yeah i want to put that down so we could do the platinum products and that and yeah like compared sizes and that ain't that bad and yeah so raven ports as well american silos fermenting silos all that lovely stuff so raven ports no it's only the juice factory now but we could do with another juice factory because we're producing too much produce to be processed at the moment, so get that done. BJ you can just purchase that. But yeah, also I'm thinking about getting some of the yard production stuff in maybe. 
or actually, sorry, the Farm Production Pack by Omatana, not Yara Production. Firewood and that. That ain't too bad. And then, yeah, things like when we do our and that, have like some of these mixers in. I know I'm using it on Cup of Fair and Cup. Actually, do I. What size do I have installed? Ah, uh, yeah, these are the ones I want to go with as well, so. Go back to the farm. These are the ones I prefer to have. The placeable steel silos. A million the capacity. And yeah, all I have to do is just whack a couple of these down. Or whack one of them down. Whack three extensions. And then yeah, that's another one and a half million litre. So all in all, I say we are looking good. And yeah, and that's where I say we'll wrap up today. So as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash the button. Feel free to down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But for you to do, hope you're gonna stay. But for now, see you from Evo Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.